Greetings, adventurers, and welcome back to my Skyrim modding journey. Uh, today we are going to start out with adding a couple of these Elden-themed uh, combat mods, uh, Elden Power Attack and Elden Counter. You see Elden Power Attack uses a modifier key approach. Now you can see here this requires D-Tries key utilities and Papyrus INI extender. And, oop. and got that one down. Now, uh, this one still hasn't been updated to work with uh, 640, but luckily somebody has uh, done that for them. Oh, and this just lists these because these are all the things that it, it can update. But in this case, these aren't actual requirements to use the DTRI thing. So yeah, mainly we need the original DTRI's utilities. Oh, wait. All right, well, since that needs all that, I guess I'm going to do the original D-Try. No, let's do Elden Parry first. Need animation motion revolution. And instead of Dar, we're going to use open animation replacer and payload interpreter. Yes, this is a good example of uh, not making assumptions even off of the original mod page because here we are a couple uh, steps deep and you know the mod that one of the mods that one of the other mods requires requires Nemesis. <laughs> so if you were trying to do Elden Counter because it said it didn't need Nemesis you were wrong. <laughs> but that's just how it is. Um, and like, I, like I've said before there's nothing wrong with Nemesis. All right, well, I was trying to save, like, all Nemesis and animation things for the end, but it just keeps coming up that something else needs it that I didn't consider would need it. So we're going to change our approach here and uh, go ahead and do... Because this is, like, the most important one I want. I want the uh, TK dodge with the step dodge... Uh, choice. I think that's part of the main one. Now the other one had to have a separate patch. You can see here this iframe generator is only required if you want invincibility frames, which is not something I inherently want. Uh, given that Skyrim's an old game, it can turn out that there's some combination of issues that just makes invincibility frames like easier to make it all work. Um, but we're going to try without it at first. Alright, let's do this thing. So... Install key TK dodge. Oh wait, did that say R E S? Okay, so we need to, as you can see here, install key TK dodge SE, the original, and just make sure that only the meshes folder is left. Okay, we've got TK dodge AE. Go to the mod folder and just leave the meshes folder. Done those. Usually when you do that, you want to deploy because uh, it doesn't know that you've made the change yet and it won't like save it by default until you come in here and uh, make it save the changes. And you can always just double check. Yep. Now the second step here is to make sure it's loaded after Nemesis. So I'm just going to take that as we need to Go ahead and... Okay. And this... You'll already have this, uh, <laughs> this redistributable. If you've been modding for a bit. And I have already installed it. Alright. It had instructions on how to... So I assume open the mod folder and run the exe. Check the mods that you wish to patch. I guess I'll just keep that open for now. Install this mod with Mod Manager. And so that is loaded after Nemesis. I may not actually want it open yet. It may need to reload everything, I assume. Ooh, I like that. That's a nice balancing thing. Blocking cancels attacks? I didn't even know that was a... Dodge enables cancel attack. 
I mean, I guess I do want... I don't see anything wrong with attack cancelling that's in uh, other games. No. Alright, I think... Make sure it's after ne Nemesis. Vortex backup files from inside the Nemesis folder. Yeah, I was not able to figure out what it means where these backup files are. I'm also confused about even the second direction here because I didn't see either of these as like plugins in the load order. Okay, well, as far as I can tell, there is no Vortex backup thing. So, yeah, I don't, I, you know, I have no idea what this is talking about or where it is. Uh, that's weird. Why are there two different places that have that thing? Alright, well, so I figured out how you need to come here instead of to the Nemesis mod folder. Um, and I checked all the mods that I have installed that it has, and we ran the patcher, and it seems to be working. Alright, now we need to configure the INI settings. Why isn't... No, oh, whatever. Six. I think I'll do left shift because I believe that's right now just set to the whole uh, hold it down to change between walk and run. So left shift is 42. Step dodge equals true. I assume that's what it wants me to do. Guess I'll just set that to zero for now. All right, well, we configured the i9, we have it set up to left shift. So I guess now we will see. Let's restart uh, Vortex since we ran Nemesis and I was pretty sure that was supposed to handle all that, but I might be wrong. Okay, that did not change what conflicts there are. Uh, I guess we will just go with all the suggested ones for now. All right, let's give it a shot. <clears throat> I don't have gamepad set up. Not gonna fly. Oh, it is so much, though. Jesus. Well, if I was targeting someone, that would maybe change it. Oh, well, that's nice that it's working really is a a lot though. at least the side ones aren't as bad let's make sure we shift is not uh equipped either put it on fucking all right that's reserved for hotkeys so sad you were really bad at your job I'm sorry, is he running away? So we see here, there is a mod that shortens the, uh, the step dodge. We're going to take a look at that. See if we can just do it from here even. And we're just running it again, just in case. Even though it didn't say we needed to. Since it just replaces the one animation, it should probably work mid-save. Whoa, hello. Up there, uh, permanent or whatever. Oopsie daisy. I can't tell if it is short or not. All right, well, I actually managed to fix this earlier, but messed up the recording, so uh, which is probably for the best, because it'll just save some time. But essentially what I realized, um, whether that's how it was intended to work or whatever, um, these animation replacements were just not like making their way into the file, if, if, if it was supposed to, I don't know. Um, and I eventually realized, 
See, this is what I was doing the first time. I'll do it again while I'm talking. Uh, I assumed it would be in here, open mod, and, and I tried following the same path, but I could never get past uh, here because I couldn't find an animation data single file thing. And even if that was like a like a wrapper folder, essentially, um, I went into all of these and wasn't able to find it. But I did a little looking around, and I remember how earlier it was like I had to find the thing in the... Uh, I had to find the Nemesis launcher actually in the data folder, even though it was in another folder. So I went and looked for the one that's in data in the Skyrim Special Edition thing. Uh, went to... Nope. Nah. Yeah. No Nemesis engine. Uh, no. Oh, here we go. So yeah, under the data folder where I opened up the, the mod folder thing, game mod folder, uh, here's the TK Dodge. See, that's how easy it can be to forget. So... By using the path that this provides and assuming that it should have like been able to overwrite it somehow or something, but I came into the data section here and followed the same path. So Nemesis Engine, Mod, TKUC, Mod, TKUC, Animation, Data, Single File, it's not Animation Set, <laughs> and then here are the default male and female files. And all I did for each of them was take the ones from, uh, yeah. I took the ones from the shorter step dodge mod, copied them, and then pasted them over here. Shouldn't make any difference, because like I said, it's the same the same things, and I replaced it, and then I did the same thing with the default male folder. And by replacing those, I was able to reopen the game, which I guess I'll just go ahead and show you real quick. Whoa, whoa. Oh, shorter. You may recall before it was coming to like the middle of this barrel before. The side ones aren't much different to me, it looks like, but that wasn't really the, the big deal. And uh, yeah, so through that little bit of ingenuity, we managed to figure it out. Um, that's not something, not that it's overly complicated, but if you're new, that's not something that you probably would have been able to figure out on your own necessarily. It's only because I, through messing with lots of mods and using other people's, you know, fixes for things before, that I kind of just managed to guess and check until I figured it out. Um, and just for a disclaimer, maybe doing that was in the directions and I missed it somehow. That's totally possible. Um, anyways, so yeah, we got it working. It's super neat. Shorter step dodge. It's like perfect. It feels just like a uh, fallen order to me. So uh, thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and we will see you next time.